Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is Black Widow. It's a web application vulnerability scanner. You're going to check it out. If you're ready, let's get into the video. Thank you. All right, guys. Whoops, this is uh, not the screen I wanted to open, but I was just working on some stuff with Apache. And, uh, but we're going to be going into our Kali box. Into Kali. Let's open up this. I have so many things open, I apologize. And um, this is another tool I was using. Have you ever heard of TM Scanner? But that's just like an Nmap stuff. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about um, Black Widow. So what is Black Widow? You know, it's pretty much how to run an application scanner. You know, this is what, pretty much what we're going to be doing is how to run an application scanner on Kali Linux. And this is the application, Black Widow, a little bit about it. It's a, it's a Python-based application spider like to gather subdomains, URLs, dynamic perimeters. Um, email addresses, etc., phone numbers. It's something like OWASP. You know, it's pretty much, uh, you know, for common OWASP vulnerabilities. So, what we're going to be doing is uh, let's go ahead and clone this. Let's minimize this. Okay. And where is my. Let's open up terminal. And let's zoom this in a little bit more. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, I think that should be good. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and CD to the desktop. I like to do everything on a desktop. Let's do git. Let me put my light on, I'm sorry. Uh, git clone. And let's paste this. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Let me actually look and make sure you can guys can see me better. Okay, cool. All right, so that's that. So now let's go ahead and do an ls, cd to Black Widow, ls again, ls. All right, so now what we'll do really quick, we'll do pipe, pip, install, install, oh, no. install, install dash r requirements. All right. So we'll let that do its uh, fancy thing. And now what we'll do is do an LS again. Now what we'll do really quick is, let me see, all right, so let's do Python real quick. Python, Black Widow, Black Widow, Black Widow, Widow, dash s help. All right, so, now we can actually see what we're going to be utilizing and you can see the options so dash h is help u is url d is domain etc etc so what we'll do is we'll hit this up arrow one more time and we'll do dash d for domain and then we'll put a website um let me see what website i want to put let's just i think there is one out there uh give me one second i had the site that I wanted to give a shot. Uh, let's just go to this site right here. K-A-T U-N dot me. Okay. All right. So we'll use this site. All right. Let's just copy this. And we'll minimize this for now. And we'll paste that. All right. So this will be our target. All right. So we'll let that do its fancy stuff. And once that's done, we can actually see if there's any vulnerabilities on this site and see what it finds and all that stuff. So we'll give that a second to run. And while that's running through its uh, fanciness, hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is staying healthy, quarantined in this crazy stuff that's going on in the world. And you know, the most, you know, most important thing is be safe and healthy. So hopefully you guys are cooperating and staying inside and doing all that good stuff. All right, cool. So, um, all right. So here 
it's saved to user share Black Widow. So let's go ahead and copy this really quick. So what we're gonna do now is just do CD. We'll paste that really quick, boom. And now we can do an LS. And now we see this right here. Let's copy this, copy, 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 copy. All right, so let's CD. LS. All right, so in here, we're going to see. Uh, let me do, 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 do sort. Where is, here we go. Sort. So, what I want to do really quick is copy this. What we can do is cat paste. So, let's cat this, uh, this TXT, this, this text file. So, in this text file has a whole bunch of URLs of the websites that we just scanned, right? So what we can do, what we can do here is take one of these, I wanna, I don't know, I can just take this one for an example. Let's go ahead and take this guy. He's a, he looks pretty. So we'll copy this. We'll do CD, let's actually go back to the, so we don't have to go through all this craziness. Roots, oh, Black Widow. Uh, oh, I, sorry, I put it on my desktop. Whoops, I'm a dit. I'm a dits. All right, so now CD Black Widow. All right, so now LS. All right, so now what we'll do, really quick, we have that site, right, copied. So we'll do Python, inject Python. And then if we just hit enter, you see here, you need a specific URL to scan. So what, what the switch we have to use is the dash U for the URL, all right? So we'll do this up arrow one more time, dash U, okay? And then the URL that we're gonna utilize, in this case, I copied it. I forgot which one I copied, we'll find out now, is 25, all right? So once we hit enter, this will go and fuzzy, you know, doing fuzzying and find, you know, SQL injections in this case. And then we can actually go to the URL and see if there's any vulnerabilities and, and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty cool tool. I just came across it this week. So I just give it a shot and figured out, uh, make a video of recording how to use a tool and we can check it out together. And uh, a lot of time on my hands. So just been looking at different tools, different things. Obviously, I got laid off, which is a bummer. So I've been applying for jobs. So if anyone's hiring, let me know. And um, for systems guy, networking guy, security guy, um, I just enjoy doing it all. All right. So, all right. So now what we'll do is we'll copy this. Actually, we can just open link. All right. Let's open that link. All right, so we'll go here and let's go ahead and we can put a little tilde and it says, you must have an error, uh, you must have an error, blah, blah. you must have an error in your SQL syntax. Please check the manual, blah, blah. So in the line one, so obviously if we minimize this, we can, Okay, come on. What the heck is going on? All right, all right. That was that was weird that I got locked up. All right, so let's do this again, and we'll we'll do what was the what was another one? Let's do nine, just for um, do nine ID nine. All right. And then I'll go out and I'll do the same thing. And then see here, it says SQL injections found, vulnerability URL. So we can open this link. And then you can see that this is the vulnerability, that there's a vulnerability here. And then you can do further investigation, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So let's minimize this. And see if I can do control C and see how long it takes to exit out of here. So I can just minimize this for now. And that's pretty much how you install 
and get you know it up and running for Black Widow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share. If there's any requests that you would like, just let me know and I'm more than happy to um, get those videos out for you. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy, most importantly. Thank you.